Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's six o'clock, it's time for a Magic Live. Now today, I'm gonna to be doing a routine um, called, what's it called? Help, I can't remember the name of this trick track. Oh, it's called Book, it's called Book Test. It's called Book Test, there you go. It's called Book Test and it's by David Jonathan and it is part of the Back Mirror Project and it is literally an impromptu book test that you can, do, chest, big, impromptu book test that you can do anytime, anywhere. Uh, do you need a book? Well, yeah, well, let's have, uh, uh, Jack, uh, you're going to help me with something, is that okay? All right. Uh, now, you, you don't have an iPhone, do you? Oh, I do. I oh, do you? Okay. So on your iPhone, do you use, do you read e-books on, on your phone? Because I do. You know I travel an awful lot. I prefer to listen to audio. Do you? Well, I um, I go on the, uh, the, 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 the book apps an awful lot, and I've got tons of books. But uh, it, when you go onto the book apps, you've got the want to read section, and these are all the stuff that I'm wanting to read at the moment. Uh, just some classics, The Invisible Man, The Land That Time Forgot, Sherlock Holmes, The Jungle Book, Peter Pan, um, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, you know I'm into kind of like sci-fi and genre and that stuff. I think reading the classics is absolutely brilliant. We're going to go with uh, The Invisible Man if that's okay. Have you ever read the original Invisible Man? Don't think I have. Well, that's very good. Um, what I want you to do is um, when you go on to uh, here you can see that you can scroll back and forth and you can look at all the various different pages can you see that yeah lots of different pages now i don't know how many words there are in the invisible man but there's probably quite a lot uh, so what i want you to do is in a second you're going to take the phone and you're going to scroll back and forth like this i'll, I'll hold it here like this and you're going to scroll back and forth and every single time you scroll it's going to go to a different page right okay. and you can stop any time that you want to it's completely your choice Okay, so you do that and, and, and go scrolling back and forth and you can keep going for about half an hour if you want to, as long as you want and when you're happy, you just stop. Okay. You want to stop right there? Yep. Do you want to change your mind? No. Nope. Okay, I don't want you saying later on, I made you stop on one particular page. I have no idea what that page is. I want you to take the phone, take the phone. Don't let me see it, don't let the camera see it. I'm gonna look away and what I want you to do, whatever page you're on, Look at the first word on the top of the page, on the first line. Yep. Remember that word. Yep. And then swipe up so you're at the book app. Yep. Yeah. And then switch the phone off. You know, put it into lock mode. Have you done that? Yep. Perfect. You've got a word. There is, you, would, you would agree, can you pass me one of those cards? You would agree that there is absolutely no way I could know what your word is. Is that right? And zero. Okay, concentrate on the word. Concentrate on the word. Are you okay? Yeah. It's okay. Your eyes watering is probably a side effect of me delving into your brain right now. So don't worry about it. Brace yourself. I'm coming in. Here we go. Concentrate. Think of the first letter. Imagine the whole thing's written in neon. In front of you, it's written in neon. What color is the neon? Red. Red. Okay. That red is the color of anger. Red is the color of anger and danger. Does this word have? It kind of connotations to like somebody who's angry or somebody who's you could maybe you could okay, okay. Okay. think of the first letter it's shining brighter than all the other letters what was the first letter T hmm? okay let's try with the last letter E how am I doing that is right. Okay, good. Uh, think of a letter in the middle of the word. Oh, that's interesting. You looked up to the left. You were going back and forth between a couple of letters, weren't you? Was that like an L and an E? Yeah. Yeah. Settled on the E, though, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. It's quite a long word. Um, look, I'm committed now. Some people say I should be committed. But I'm committed. Hold your hand out for me. Think about it. Thousands of words in a book. You went back and forth. And with one finger, you ended up on one page. You then went to one word. If you'd flicked one more time, it would have been a different page. It could have been a different word. If we picked a different book, it would have been a completely different outcome. You ended up on one word and one word only. For the first time, what was the name of the word? Troublesome. And that was a free choice. Yeah. Have a look. I don't get it. <laughs> I even did the smiley face to make you feel happy. That didn't work. 
Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> there you go, Jack, souvenir. Um, so that is the book test from David Jonathan's Black Mirror. Did you just give your Did you just put your souvenir in the bin? Where was there? What? Oh, what else is for? Oh, whatever. <laughs> Do me a favour. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. You want to, really seriously? You put all. You, you're dead to me. Do me a favour. Let me know what you think in the yeah, comments. That was the same. No, he doesn't. He keeps every single one of them. When was the last time you saw him? Hmm? When was the last time you saw them? He treasures them in his drawer. I don't think he does. He does. I don't think. I he know does. he does. Oh, trust me, he doesn't. Yes, he does. He really doesn't. Yes, he does. I'll have this out with Matt a little bit later on. Anyway, <laughs> thanks very much for watching. We'll be back again tomorrow with uh, another Magic Live at 6 o'clock. Thanks, uh, thanks again for watching. My name's Craig and this is Magic TV. Mm.